Today we're opening up a total of two Toy USA Funko Pop mystery boxes. So there's a total of eight pops in these two boxes with some pretty big grail opportunities. So might as well stick around because we're going to do this. These came from the standard mystery box week number six. They shipped out July 29th. I'm just opening them up right now. But they actually had some pretty big hits available. As you can see from the phone. I mean, you had the Green Chrome Batman. You had Hot Topic guy. You had the um, Reggae guy. You had some pretty big hits. And they had a deal this time. If you bought four, you... Uh, what was it? You got free shipping on, or what was it? I don't know. They were they were usually thirty bucks a piece, but if you bought four, a lot of four, they ended up they knocked off money, and pretty much shipping them became free. So anyway, each box is one hundred twenty dollars a piece. So two hundred forty dollars in mystery boxes in these two boxes. So I'm kind of curious, what did I get? We'll, we'll open up each box one at a time, and then after that box, we'll go through, see value, see how well I did or how much money I lost. Because I think there's only a guarantee of $15 back. Well, that stinks. Okay, so the minimum you'll get is $15. The maximum is $475. So, <laughs> you can lose half the money that you spent. So hopefully, I didn't lose everything. So let's go ahead, let's crack open this first box. Let's see what we got going on here. And then we will hopefully get something really good out. Ah, packing peanuts. Toy USA, I thought we had done away with packing peanuts the last few times. But it looks like they brought them back. So first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. So I don't know if these all come in like soft protectors in the sorter box or not. Weight wise, they all feel about the same. Yeah, I don't think you, you could fit like a hard stack in these things. Here we go, first one. Number one of eight, 30 bucks a box, guaranteed value of only $15 back. That's kinda, I, I actually didn't realize that whenever I bought these, I thought it was 25 for some, some reason. I just saw they're only $15 guaranteed. There we go, here's the first one. Okay, it's upside down. Here we go, pop number one. Who do we get? Oh, that's a decent one. King Aragorn. I think I'm saying it right. I haven't watched Lord of the Rings for like a decade. So this is the Overseas Special Edition uh, sticker. Came out in 2018. King Aragorn. That's probably decent. That is probably worth probably like 20, 25 bucks, I bet. Not bad. I've actually have never received that pop from a mystery box. That's the first time. Number two. So I think it's, it's a decent hit, actually. Decent. Didn't really get any big, big money back, but I don't think I lost very much on that one. Number two. Let me find the back side. There's the back. You ready? Number two. Oh, cool. We got a Game of Thrones pop. 2015. So yeah, so th this one is going to be vaulted. Uh, I'm going to butcher this guy's name. My wife and I just recently started watching Game of Thrones. So this is Oberyn Martell. I think I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm saying it right. Yeah, so this should be vaulted. Keyword should be. I could be wrong on that. That's decent. I don't know if that's worth 30 bucks though. Came out in July of 15. Don't know if it's worth 30, but it's decent. Not bad. Yeah, so far the wife and I have really liked Game of Thrones. We've really enjoyed it, so. My goal now is to actually get a lot of the Game of Thrones actors and actresses autographs. And I've actually held back a few Funko Pops knowingly that I'm going to meet these people at future cons. I'm going to get them signed. 
So, yeah, I'm going to start kind of like an autographed Game of Thrones Funko Pop collection here in the future. Once I start getting stuff signed, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Pop number three. Ooh, it says Harry Potter on the back. So, Harry Potter the Cat. I've only seen the first two Harry Potter movies, never read the books. This is... Mm, Men of Verb, I mean, I'm not even going, to, even going to try to say that, that cat's name. Has the overseas sticker on it. This was probably like a Hot Topic exclusive, I bet. Probably. I think it's decent. It's not bad. I think it's decent. And then here is the last one from the first box. Their sorter boxes fit extremely tight. Fourth one, first box. You ready? Oh, the back says Booberry. Oh, cool. We got Booberry out. I received this thing, I think, like three or four times in mystery boxes. I've never gotten out the Count Chocula or Frankenberry. I keep getting out Booberry time and time and time and time and time again. But yeah, it's decent. This thing's worth like 35 bucks, I think. Let's go ahead. Let's look at the value of these four pops. And then we'll get to the second box. I'm using the poppriceguide.com website to look up prices on these. Booberry 2018 Fungo Shop Exclusive. Books out at 30 bucks. So it's worth PPG value exactly what I paid for the box. So that's good. I didn't lose a dime on that one. Okay, then this cat Minerva. This is actually a BAM exclusive. Has the, the Australian sticker on it. Came out 2018, exclusive to Books A Million, aka BAM. PPG value of only $14. So I had a guaranteed minimum of $15. Bucks. Price in this probably, it probably fluctuated a dollar since they shipped it off, you know, a while ago. So, yeah, this is like the bare minimum value pop. So that kind of stinks. Lost money on that one. Then the Oberyn Martell came out in 2015, is vaulted. It's worth $24. Not not bad. Lost a little bit of money on this one, but not much. We got King Aragorn. This is exclusive to Toys R Us and Barnes and Noble. Released in 2018. It's worth a whopping at $21. So the first four pops, I spent 120 bucks. I got back $89. So those first four, I lost roughly $31. So the first box. Wasn't that good. I only got out one pop out of all four where actually I got my money back. So, first box, not that great. But we got one more box. Four more pops. Number two box. Four more. So, hopefully this box just, like, freaking kills it in value. Fingers crossed. And we got more peanuts. Yay, packing peanuts. Toy USA, you and I have talked about this before. Get rid of these packing peanuts. Because packing peanuts are horrible. Horrible! Use bubble wrap or brown paper or something. First box out of four. Come on, something big. I'm, at least eight, I'd love to get out at least like one that's worth at least like double of what I paid for one, one box. This one fits extremely tight. There we go. Back, so here we go. Stealth Suit Spider Man Hot Topic exclusive. Glow in the dark. This is an old Hot Topic sticker. I'm not sure when this thing came out, but hopefully it's worth more than what I paid for it. I don't think it is, but maybe it is. Next one. Come on. No whammies. Man, this box. These boxes keep getting tighter and tighter. Here we go. No whammies. Okay, pop number six. God of War. Kratos. GameStop exclusive. Came out in July 15th. So yeah, this one might have a little bit of value to it, actually. I really have never looked this thing up before. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's actually a really cool one. And God of War is a freaking awesome video game. I haven't played it for several years. Several years. 
But yeah, it's a fantastic game now. Here's number seven in total. Box three in the second box. Oh, I glanced at it by accident. I think it said Harry Potter. Yep, Harry Potter. So we got Harry Potter, Barnes Noble exclusive, Harry Potter and the Sorting Hat. Came out, looks like in, was it 2016? So it might have a little bit of value. It's probably worth more than $15, I bet. Okay, so I'll try not to accidentally look at this one like I just did the last one whenever I pulled it out. So come on. There was only 40 boxes made. Have I got one of the main picture hits yet? I don't think I have. With 40 boxes? And I bought eight of them. So, like, I kind of should have gotten like a main picture hit, I think. No. There's 200 boxes. <laughs> That's why I haven't gotten a main picture hit. Because the odds of getting a main picture hit are extremely low. Disregard. Last one. Number eight. Come on, something big. Is it that same one? It's the same one from the first box. Man. This was rough. Let's see values. So once again, Aragorn is $21. Lost money on that one. So out of the first five, there's only been one that I did not lose money on, where I broke even. Not good. Harry Potter and Sorting Hat came out in 2016, $19. Lost more money. Kratos, Fear, came out in 2015, exclusive to GameStop and EB Games. It's worth $16. Almost lost half my money on that one. Spider-Man Stealth Suit came out in 2016. It's worth $20. Man, I lost on every single one of those. I lost like almost 10 bucks or more on every single one of those. And that was bad. So box number two, I spent 120 bucks, only got back $76. Wow, so that box number two, I lost $44 on box number two. I almost lost what, probably close to like 40% of my money on box number two? Man, that's bad. So $76 for the second box plus 89 from the first box. Wow. So I spent a total of $240, only got back 165. So I lost $75 on these eight pops. And I only got back one single pop where I got my money back, $30. The other seven, I lost on every single one most of them, I lost between 10 and 15 bucks a pop. Well, that was, that, was, that was really bad. That was really bad. Like, honestly, straight up, those were eight really bad mystery boxes. So there was a total, I guess, of 200 boxes. And, I mean, they did have some decent hits in it. But it, from what I see, it looks like the majority of their boxes, it was either you hit one of these 10 first page pops or you lost money or you just broke even so but most of these i think people are gonna lose money on so this run of mystery boxes i think was actually a pretty bad run of mystery boxes and i honestly that's my fault whenever i don't think i realized it that this run had 200 boxes and only 10 first page pops so only 10 pulls are pretty much above what you paid out 200 that's like Five percent. You have like a five percent chance of actually getting out a pop that's worth more than what what you paid. That's really bad. Yeah, I usually don't buy mystery boxes when the odds are that bad. I stay away from them because the odds stink. So that was my fault for buying these. But yeah, this this was a very bad run of mystery boxes. So anyway, but I'll buy more. That's what I do. I do mystery boxes. I make YouTube videos. So I'll lose more money next time. So you saw firsthand, do not buy a mystery box unless you can afford to lose your money. If you can't afford to lose your money, do not buy mystery boxes. Because sometimes your mystery boxes are just duds. So I'll see you next time. Funko Bad Guy, out. <laughs>